I'll play Funny by Tori Kelly on some socks that are smelly? Poo -ow. Me either! This one is for Michelle Tang. You rocks like my socks. If you want all the chords and lyrics to the song, it's on our Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash netpicking. Click like, click notes, and then you will find uh, the chords and lyrics there for you. All right, now first thing I'm going to say is that you need a capo on the third fret. All the chords that I'm talking about now are going to be relative to the capo, meaning if I say second fret, I'm talking about one, two from the capo, all right? So that's called relative to the capo. Sorry, bro. Now let's get straight into it. There's kind of two shapes that you're going to be using and that's it. So the first one is uh, it's called an F sharp minor 11 and uh, it uses our middle finger, that one there, on uh, the second fret of your lower string and then these two fingers, your ring finger and little finger, on the uh, well ring will be on the uh, D string on the second fret and little finger is going to be on the second fret on the G string. Oh yuck. All right like so. Okay, and we've got these two open top strings, and we're not playing our A string at all. Okay, our second string. Alright, and that's called an F sharp minor 11. And uh, if you move it two frets higher, you can think of that as a G sharp minor, which is our second chord. Alright, now the second shape we're going to use is, uh, is a major seventh shape. So our first finger is going to go to the fifth fret. Relative to the capo, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we're gonna play um, a minor seven shape above it. So uh, a simple way to think of it is like an A minor chord, but moved up. So if the A minor was on the first fret, now it's on the sixth fret. Okay, and your bass is at the top on the sixth fret as well. So uh, middle finger there, uh, little finger there, ring finger there, first finger on the bass. Okay, and that's uh, an A major 7. Alright, and then the last chord that we uh, use is, uh, again, it's the same shape as our uh, minor, uh, minor 11 shape. So F sharp minor 11 is on the 2nd fret, and the last one we're talking about is a B minor 7, which is up here on the, uh, where are we, 7th fret. Okay, so those are uh, the main 4 chords. Alright, and uh, in the bridge, there's also an A sharp minor, okay, which is on the uh, sixth fret. That again, that minor shape on the sixth fret of the bridge. Okay, those are the chords that we're going to be using, and um, let's get straight to it. So, in the verses, we're going F sharp minor, G sharp minor to A major seven, and we hold the A major seven. And then a passing chord back down was the uh, the G sharp, which is our second chord. All right. So again, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A sharp. Ah, uh, sorry, A major seven. And then da -da. so let's talk about the rhythms of that. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So it's on the three and is when you change. So again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and roll. Alright, so that's that's the first time. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and Okay, and then the second time, I'm gonna hold the A. That's the intro. All right, it's also the verse, okay? Because throughout the verse, it's just those three chords. All right, throughout the whole verse. Then uh, in the pre-chorus part, it's the same thing again, what we've talked about. But then the second round, jumps up to the B minor 7. So B minor 7. So again, that same minor shape, but on the uh, seventh fret. Okay, and then back down to the A major 7. 
all right now again all of this is written for you already on the facebook page with the lyrics for you to it'll make sense about what part of the song we're up to so make sure you have that open as well as you're going through this lesson it could help you print them off or whatever all right and then that takes us to the chorus which is the same as the pre the pre-chorus so uh, f sharp g sharp a g sharp f sharp minor g sharp minor and then to the b minor b minor okay so b minor and that's the chorus part all done and that's pretty much the whole song now the bridge part is where it changes and we're going the same cry it out go at the Six rate. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Six. Four, two, four, five, four, two, four, six, four, two. Alright. And that's the whole shebang, man. Now, um, in different versions, she plays it differently in regards to strumming and picking. I recommend that you do a, 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 pick, a pick sort of strum where you're varying between plucking and strumming. So, uh, if you think of your, your thumb being your bass player, <laughs> I don't know, um, he's going to play all your bass notes with your thumb. Just Okay, and then these three fingers are going to be for your... Well, this one will be for your second string, third string, fourth string. And you can do a slap. So yeah, have a play around with that. Otherwise, you can just strum, simply strum the whole thing without that percussive sound in between, and that's fine. It doesn't really matter, she changes it up, as do everyone who plays any song, ever. So I hope this has been helpful, don't forget to go to our Facebook page for the chords and lyrics. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to comment below with what song you want us to teach you next, subscribe for plenty more videos, and just keep on being an awesome man, because that's what it's all about. Also, this week we're doing a giveaway, um, I'm giving away my dirty socks and times are hard on youtube net picking land um we don't have money for cool giveaways like some channels give away cars and tickets to stuff but um i'm just the local kid from mangere man and um you know we we don't have a lot so giving away my socks mm, they haven't been washed as well because it gives you that authentic authentic authenticity about the competition you know aren't you sick of entering competitions with real prizes i know i am so enter now all you gotta do is comment below and say awesome socks okay just comment that below say awesome socks and then a message about why you deserve to win my socks i'll send them out to you and boom and you can be like man guys i got this free pair of socks and then once you've worn them uh wash them um put them in an envelope and send them back okay you can private message me for my address and then you can um send my socks back clean and when you put them in the envelope could you just kindly do like this like take the socks put them together like that and then what I like to do is kind of do this little roll down thing like that and then it just holds them in place. Isn't that cute? Woo. Yeah. So, um, where was I? That's kind of it. I used to watch him now and if you are, I bet you are thoroughly entertained and very interested in the competition. Aren't you? Hmm. Yes. Yes, you are. Um, thanks for watching. God bless. Goodbye.